Okay, I have a review this time for another stack for Stacks, which is a plugin for Rapid Weaver 5 and 6. This is a responsive grid or columns plugin, and it allows you to create various sort of grids on your website, on your web page, uh, various grids which are responsive, so they will flow correctly when viewed on different devices, such as an iPhone, an Android phone, a tablet, or a full desktop computer. Now, why would you need this instead of just using the grids and the columns that are built into Stacks too? Well, let me show you. Here is a grid. I went to grids here, which is a built into Stacks too. Created a grid, and then I went here and I found the built-in. Here we are, built-in button stack, and dragged a couple buttons side by side onto the grid. Well, let's preview. Here you can see a button and a button looks great, but what if we view it on an iPhone? As you can see, the layout hasn't responsively, fluidly changed to put this one underneath so you can still see it. It's just still carried on side by side, even though the display is too narrow. So let's have a look at using this responsive stack. We go here and it's by one little designer who also made a plugin called Icebox for image light boxes that I reviewed previously and Excel for full screen that adds a button that opens your website up full screen if you want. Well, you find it here, responsive grids. It's the current version at the time of making this review, the latest version, 1.06. You can go and check for updates with this button as well and automatically update it if there's a new version. So let's drag on this stack. Okay, responsive grids is open here as a stack. We can scroll down. We have one column advanced, so you can have some space in. And you can adjust pixels percentage, or we can set the max width here, such as 500 pixels, centering to the left, center or right. We can make any images within the uh, boxes or grids responsive or not. I tend to have that just off for my uses anyway. Grid off or on, well, I'll turn it on. You can have amount of columns and rows. So we can have one column, two rows. Well, we don't want it uh, top and bottom like that. We want it side by side. We don't want it vertical, we want it horizontal. So let's do two columns. So now we want to drag our button on like we did before. One here and one here. Now let's preview. There we go. Now just like we had it, just like how we wanted it before, we have one on the left, one on the right for the full uh, desktop or laptop view. And that's exactly how we want it. But what about people who are viewing on a phone? Well, they view it on the phone and it goes vertically instead of horizontally so you don't cut off any edges of your button it's completely viewable so exactly what stacks grids and columns should do by default you shouldn't really need to buy a third party stack to do this because there are stacks and there are col columns there are columns and there are grids built into stacks too so you shouldn't need to get this plugin but the fact of the matter is e even though the grids within Stacks 2 should be responsive, I believe. They are not at this time. So you have no choice, really, to, but to look elsewhere for a third-party stack, which it actually specifies that it is responsive or fluid. And this is one, and it works great, as you can see. It works in all views, wide, desktop, landscape, tablet, portrait, tablet, and smartphone. Unlike the built-in one where it looks great, this is the built-in grid within Stacks 2, then look what happens. It's all off of the screen and unusable. So let's go back and let's have another look here. The settings are very standard. You select the grid, you've got responsive grids, you can adjust the same sort of settings that are found in a lot of the other stacks, 
such as a background making you know you can add a solid color or a tiled background or none you can adjust the border just like you can in a lot of stacks the fill flexible floating uh, fixed width i would just leave it on fill just to make sure we don't mess up any of our responsiveness then we can have things like uh, responsive images so it'll make, try and make the images change size depending upon the uh, screen size we have grids on and off columns rows gutter adjust the gutter width button margin split and ha add a couple of break points so that's pretty much all there is to it there isn't a whole lot of in-depth tutorial i can really do it's very straightforward very standard but it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's basically a way of adding columns and grids like you have built into stacks too, but ones that actually work properly on all screen sizes. Uh, so if you want to use columns and grids within your web design, which at some point I'm sure you're going to have to, at least on one page, then I recommend you make the plunge and buy responsive grids by one little designer, because if you're going to add grids or you go add columns to your site, like I say, which is probably something you've got to end up having to do at least on one page of your website, then you've got to want it to work on all screen sizes. You're not going to want people who are on tablets or smartphones viewing your page and having one of the buttons or whatever right off the screen and unusable. So a link will be in the description. Please like and share this video. And if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe, it'll only take a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.